Hey everyone, so I thought maybe today was another time for a voiceover because I'm doing a DIY. Uh, I had a request to make some small mini envelopes. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, I forgot to zoom in, but I will show you the measurements again. I believe it's uh, 2 by 3 centimeters. Yes, here I zoom in. Uh, yeah, 2 by 3 centimeters. Um, this will be of course again my template. I will link the video down below uh, where I do the DIY envelopes. It's like the same principle. Uh, I did some trial and error with this one because I wanted to make it look nice and uh, I had to do two envelopes before this one to make the right one. So here I am again with regular copy paper tracing my uh, template so I can easy find the middle point. Of course this isn't an odd number, I just wanted to show you this trick again. Folding it both sides through the middle and then you have your middle point when you line it up with your template. Um, I decided to mark my uh, lines so I can see it better and then I will mark them again on my template. This, one, this time on the back side because it's such a little one I can't write all things down and the marks on the same side. <laughs> And then I draw the lines again so I can line it up with my square to make the envelope. So I found out that the measurements for this envelope are, is a square from 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm. That's the best way to make one that is this small. Like I said, I tried other sizes and the third time it was right. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. cutting it out again um, measuring if I'm not that um, crooked <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect though um, then I'm crossing down the diagonals and then I can lay my template on it to find the middle point the center and I take uh, something to score with you can also use a butter knife you don't have to use any special tools with this fold them and then I will cut the little triangles away a bit in the within the score lines like I said I will um, link the video down below where I only make the envelopes in different sizes so you can see it better and there we have it a little small cute envelope um, this is the glue I use it's just cheap regular glue um, like I said, I prefer wet glue, but maybe I should use some more tape or something. Because <laughs> it, it took me a while to let it stick, but in the end it worked out. Today was also a day I had some troubles with focusing with my camera. It was really weird, I don't know, I haven't had this problem before. Maybe it's because of all the things I have on my desk or something. Well, here comes the paperclip part. So I bought some cheap paperclips. Uh, because I also had a request to do paper clips and mini envelopes on paper clips. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, for the mini envelopes on paper clips, I always oh, take the square from 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm. It's the same thing, only one step is a bit different. Now I cut it out again. Maybe I should invest in a paper trimmer, I don't know. I think I can cut straighter with a paper, paper trimmer. <laughs> I line it up again and make the score lines again. I had some trouble to keep it in place because it's, it's really small. <laughs> and now I fold it again. This time I use my scissors to make the creases real good because this time it's going to be on a paper clip forgot about the previous one 
cutting out the small triangles again just inside the score line. And now I fold it to see how it works. <clears throat> now I get my paper clip to see how big a slit I have to make in the bottom part. Um, I will get my cutting knife but I was stubborn. I thought it would work like this but it didn't. <laughs> so I got my cutting mat and made a little slit so I can put the paper clip through like this and then it was time for my hot glue gun I just recently bought a hot glue gun I know right I didn't have one before but it's awesome I love it <laughs> uh, what I do now is uh, drop hot glue on the paper clip and fold the envelope like you should fold the envelope and then it's stuck Please be careful, don't burn your fingers. And now we have a little small envelope on paper clip. And you can embellish it if you want. I just left it like this. It's so cute. So small. It's perfect for snail mail or pocket letters or even your planner. Now we're going to make another paper clip with the ribbon. This I saw this on YouTube, I don't know where, but um, you have to take like 11 or 12 centimeters of ribbon. And then uh, another smaller piece. I don't know where I saw this. But it, I saw it on YouTube. I thought it was so cute and easy to make. <coughs> now I have a hot glue gun. Uh, the smaller piece you will fold it in half. And put some hot glue in there. But not too much or else you will burn your fingers and will be ugly. and Yeah, that kind of stuff. It really dries so quickly, quickly hot glue. So we fold it in half. And now we're going to make a bow. I think I think these are my favorites. And the little envelope ones. I really love them. So you yeah, pinch it together, I guess. I hope you saw what I did. And then put some hot glue on there. Take the other ribbon and wrap it around. And you can cut off the excess, but I uh, prefer to have a little bit more just in case because it is already dry, the hot glue. Fiddling around a bit to make it a nice bow and how to do this nice. <laughs> Put some hot glue, fold it together, and then yeah, work it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> cut off the excess. <coughs> And then you have a little bow you can put on your paper clip. Uh, because there's only hot glue on the back side, you can just loop it through. It's really sturdy, so I didn't feel the need to put any extra glue in there. But you can if you want. Oh, it's so cute. I really like these ones. Um, the next paper clip is with my DIY embellishments. It's super easy. I made these beforehand. I will put a link to the, this video also be down below. Um, just take a paper clip, a bit of hot glue, <coughs> put the paper clip in, a back piece so you don't see the ugly glue, and it's done. Easy as that. Um, the next one, uh, this was my first one trying it like this. Um, I really, I didn't have quite an idea how I wanted to do it so I measured a strip of paper out because I thought that would be the measurements for this paper clip but I will switch the paper clip out for a smaller one because I didn't like that there was so much room uh, left on the sides because these are quite big paper clips I should have taken a bigger strip as you see I will switch it out now and it it's a miracle but it fitted perfectly <laughs> and then I take my hot glue since it's out now and yeah, glue it together I uh, prefer to take a longer strip for if I cut it wrong or something and then I make a banner out of this so you cut in the center and then you cut to your center cut I don't know how you say that properly and then I go to my through my bucket of 
embellishments and cutouts that I made in my previous video to see what I wanted. So this is also a way that you can make your own embellishments, but it's on a paper clip. I really like this one. I didn't make any more like this, but oh well, I will make some more, I guess. Well, I finally found what I wanted. I also pre-cut some banners uh, to bring in the yellow from the paper clip, and I glued that down, and then the stamped word "fun" on top of it, and then it's done. I really like this one. And now we're making, of course, another paper clip with ribbon. This was also a first for me. And I will tell you what I would have done differently. <laughs> so I took the ribbon and a paper clip, put some, and a. Oh, this is my box of buttons. I have so many buttons, I have to do more than some hot glue in between and then I will put some hot glue on the ribbon so or no I don't put it on the ribbon I put it on the button yeah I put it on the button and then I put on the paper clip and then I put on the ribbon so you don't see the glue blob <laughs> and then I stick it together and I wish I didn't cut it because now I look at it and it's more pretty like this but oh well it was a first you see I, I cut it too short I, I don't like it like this now I see how it was but you live and you learn And the next one will also be with ribbon because I have loads and loads of ribbon and then I don't know how to use them. <laughs> I go through these phases. Uh, I just look this one through, as you can see. Put some hot glue in there and stick them together. And then I cut these. I take another piece of ribbon and do the same thing. Just loop it through, put some hot glue on both sides this time to make sure it will stick. I really like hot glue, it dries so quickly. Only the strings, I hate the strings. And then I cut it again. And then it is done. Another paper clip ready. I also like this one. Then the next one will also be with ribbons. Um, I cut three pieces of ribbon, approximately the same size. That's the easiest. Just lay them on top of each other. <coughs> and then I'm putting them all together. And I thought maybe I first wanted to do it with hot glue, but then I was like, mm, maybe I should do one without hot glue and put it through. And this is where I noticed that my camera, while editing, didn't focus. You know, when you put twine through a tag. It's the same thing. I hope you can see what I did and just really pull it. it. Took me some time to pull it really tight because I have some thick ribbons and you can fiddle around with these like so long. And eventually I like it and I like this one. It's so girly and sweet. <laughs> And these are my paper clips. There will be some still photos. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>